it's been a while, man, but definitely, man. Thanks for kind of like getting me motivated to kind of get going back into this, brother. Oh, All right. Have fun. Yeah, so today I got David. David, a.k.a. What is your YouTube name, brother? That Beard Guy, Kansas City. That Beard Guy, Kansas City. Yeah, pretty cool, man. So I've definitely been watching a couple of your videos, man. I definitely kind of like talked to you a couple of times and I am planning, hopefully when all this craziness is over, hitting you guys up with anything as well. Um, so yeah, kind of introduce yourself a little bit. I know I'm a little rusty because I've been not doing this for a little bit um, and my kind of news there. We do have a little baby born coming, not born yet, but it is coming due and did have a little bit of personal things going on with that so I want to make sure that was taken care of but yeah definitely have more time in my hand right now so I want to do this as well and got the great people that tell their stories and everything else but yeah so a little bit about yourself David so uh I'm from I live in Kansas City uh I grew up on the west coast right outside of Oakland I guess just like anybody else you know uh, I had a really solid mom you know that took care of everything I was my ace Moved out here to Kansas City. Uh, the beard thing, you know, I've had a beard for as long as I can, uh, some sort of beard, uh, as long as I can remember. And uh, my wife talked me into growing it out. And then it was just kind of a natural progression. I got hooked on the community. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I'm blessed to be a part of the community that, like, these guys do so much for each other. Like, I can count on I probably outside of the community, the, the number of true friends I have is very low, but inside the community, I can reach out to these guys for anything, anytime. So I decided to try my hand at reviewing, put out a video, uh, and then it just kind of went from there. You know, I've uh, Tyson, Faithfully Bearded, uh, Cribs, Dan, I mean, I could go down the list, no BS of the people that were just behind me, you know, like, hey, keep doing this. Keep, it was motivating, you know? And to see what the community does for other people, like we were talking about the villains a little bit, you know, one of their big things is charity to have a chance like we did a couple weeks ago to do a big charity event, 30 companies threw in for us to donate money to underprivileged kids to go to camp. Uh, the whole community came out. We ended up donating some ridiculous amount of money. Like how, how many other places can you think of that are like that? Right. You know, I mean, like we're family, every one of us. So I don't know. That's a little bit about me. I'm I'm still kind of the new guy on the block, still kind of learning, but uh, but it's coming together, you know. And the community stands behind anybody who really wants to start a channel. They'll all be there. So, I mean, yeah. that's a nutshell. That's the short yeah. version. Yeah, yeah, definitely, man. And that, like I told you when we we're like kind of starting everything else, been watching a few of your videos and everything else, and I like everything, man, from your theme music, your intro music, to kind of the way you do your videos, to keeping it natural, to keeping it yourself there. So I kind of like that as well. You know, you could tell who's genuine and who's kind of making these videos, you know, more for, for the fame than anything else. But kind of doing something for being genuine and helping out other people, you could tell right away who, who's in it for that. Yeah, so thank you for that, bro. Uh, no worries. I mean, I, I think in the beginning, uh, I thought, I think I said it when we were talking, I thought I was going to make a video. I think everybody does. YouTube famous, the whole I'm going to go viral. But when you really dig in and you really start helping companies, because that's what the reviewers do, right? We're not just, I do it because I love it and I love the community. But also, when I first started in the beard community, I watched these guys. You know what I mean? I didn't know how to blow dry my beard. I didn't know what, I didn't even know what beard oil was. So to be able to give that back to the newer people that are coming into the community, that's what it's all about for me, you know? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. And we definitely got more times nowadays to watch more and more videos. So I've been kind of catching up because I've been not watching videos for the past like couple months there. So I've been trying to catch up and watch as many videos as I can. Not commenting, but hitting that like button at least just to kind of help with the algorithm and everything else. But trying to catch up on most of these videos. But yeah, you've been kind of showing up on my YouTube a lot. And then Cribs is showing up on my YouTube a lot. And the algorithm kind of keeps coming in, coming along. But yeah, man, it's got some great content out there. Yeah, that's, um, that's, oh, sorry, go ahead. No, no, no. Yeah. No, go ahead. Go ahead. No, okay. That's kind of my, the inner circle. I mean, I talk to almost everybody I can in the community, uh, guys that are just starting to put out videos, um, like Daniel Canales or Naso Rog, uh, all the way up to the guys that are shooting the, the big, the big guys. Yeah. I talk to Dan a lot, but my inner circle is really Tyson and Cribs. Um, 
I can't say enough good things about those two and just the people that they really are. Like, like I told you, like when you see Cribs in his videos, that's the Cribs you get. Like he is yeah. like him and I have a lot, a lot in common uh, backstory wise, but I can call him at three in the morning. I've called him on some of the worst days I've ever had. And he's talked me off the ledge, same way with Tyson, same way with anybody really, you know, but those two are kind of my, my aces, if you will, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And then same way, man, the experience I had with, with Cribs, and like, man, I'm telling you, like, if ever he needs anything and I can do it, I'll go ahead and do it, man. If he ever recommends me to do something, I'll be like, you know what? Yeah. I'm not going to think twice about it. Like, you want to sell me a car? I'll buy the car. <laughs> you got to buy two. Yeah. Yeah. Like anything he needs, man. I'll be like, all right, cool. Like anything like, hey, he tells me, to, so I got a baby coming. So he says, go with this brand instead of that brand. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm switching brands, dude. I don't matter what. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm switching brands. It is what it is, man. I trust the guy. I trust the guy with, with everything, man. And like, I, I'm, that's, like, that's another thing about the community is integrity, right? Like where I grew up, uh, and it's the world's changed so much. I'm old, you know what I mean? But when I grew up, it was like, if, if I give somebody my word, that's what it is. You know, like if I, my yes is yes. And my no is no, there is no in between. And to find guys that are like-minded, like it's like they are in the community. Literally. I can't say everybody, almost 99.99% of the people I've talked to have that integrity and it's rare these days, you know? So, yeah. Yeah. And there's something about it, yeah. It's like this whole community is just like positive because usually it's like sneaky and all this other stuff. Like you think everybody in this community wants to help each other out and wants somebody to succeed. So that's definitely a plus there. Yeah, yeah even even the bigger companies like when we did the auction, Brio was involved. They're everywhere. If somebody has a beard, Brio's has something to do with it. They're trimming with a Brio. They're brushing their teeth with a Brio, whatever. Mm -hmm. But uh. Live Bearded is another one, man. Like those yeah. guys, those guys are epic. I mean, when yeah. I talk to them, they're they're super motivational. Mink has his deal in the morning, but they're all real. Like every one of them, I can message them, you know, and they they answer back. But they're all. I think a lot of the people in the community are like that, man. Yeah, yeah, and and that's the best thing about that, right? Because if we we message a beard company, they're willing to message us back, right? When you're looking at do like a bigger company, like a shoe company or whatever it is. It might even be a smaller shoe company. Most likely the PR department or somebody will try to get back to them. One, they're going to look at your following is and all this other stuff, and they might not even get back to you or send you an invite or something else. Because, yeah, I mean, if you're trying to do something for somebody, it's trying to help somebody else out, yeah, it's it's hard for them to, to kind of like help you out there. But I think this community being the way it is, it's very easy for you to kind of get involved in some way or another. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know how much, like I watch a lot of motivational stuff. Like in real life, I run an advertising agency, right? So I have to pump up my sales team all the time. I watch Gary V a lot. And one yeah. of the things Gary V said was get on Instagram, get on IG, reach out to the people that you're trying to reach the biggest, the best. And so I took that advice and he said, send a hundred messages to a hundred people and see who responds. And Aside from most of the other ones, actually, they, they did respond. But the big one was Eric over at uh, at Beard Brand. You know what I mean? Like, really? Van Holes is a big dude. Like, yeah. when it comes to the beard game, I remember watching him on Shark Tank. I remember, you know, kind of following all the way through. For yeah. him to answer an email lets you know what the community is about. And yeah. they're, they're, that's just, it's cool. It's cool yeah. to see. Yeah. And then, and yeah, that's probably like, I mean, everybody knows who Beard Brand is and who Eric Van is. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool that he did that. Yeah. Yeah. I recommend it to anybody. Like, if, if, if the new reviewers that are watching this are, and it's not even, that doesn't have to be beard stuff. Like, if you're just trying to get yourself out there in any community, reach out to 100 people that you have watched and you respect. And when they answer back, Ask the questions you need to ask. You know what I mean? Get the information you need to get because it's the only way you're going to learn. Right. You're right. right. Yeah. Because motivational speaking, I like Simon Sinek a lot too. And I know I mentioned him a lot as well. Like you're going to be on this podcast too. But like something that he shows is you could tell who's like a motivational speaker and it's who's in it for, for themselves, right? Because they're like, oh, follow me, follow me, follow me. And all the presentation is like about themselves, right? But just people who they're, they're just giving you the material and they're like, oh, buy my book or check out my video or do this and do that. 
where Simon Sinek's like, just give them the information, right? If you're training about it, just give them the information and they'll follow you no matter what, or your book sales will go up no matter what over time. It's just like, oh, well, you want to find out more? Follow me on Instagram or follow me on this or read my book and then you'll find out more, a little bit more about that. Just give them the information you have something to share. So that's another that's one that I love, man. Yeah. Josh Coburn's the same way. Yeah. He's got Josh's style, yeah. man. I've, I've talked to him over IG. And he's another one, man, that is just so real. Like his passion literally mm. is helping people. Yeah. It's amazing. Like where yeah. else can you find that? And he's got a beard, so. And he's got, definitely got a sick beard, man. <laughs> I tried to straighten my beard one time like that. You know how Josh wears his super straight? Yeah. My beard get, just gets super whiskey. Like I not with like it's wispy at the bottom. I, I don't yeah. know how he does it, man. I, yeah. It looks good on him though. Mine start thinning out and everything else. I make it straight. Like I, I look like a little kid in puberty. Like nope, I'll leave it alone the way it is. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I can't. I can't do the straight beard. Yeah. About that, my beard has been looking too good. I haven't been taking too too well care of it. I've been trimming it a lot too. Oh well, I think I've been stressed out a lot. But it is what it is, man. I think the world's been stressed out a yeah, lot. Yeah, I think we've all been stressed out. <laughs> so uh, about that, man. That's been crazy because I know I've been like, I'm in Chicago, so we've been kind of like not quarantined, but they call it like staying in place or whatever they call it, um, staying at home. Been working from home for a little bit, so that's been getting a little annoying. So I kind of like doing this too, man. So I might be doing these a lot more. Um, been doing FaceTime a lot with the family, doing like a whole bunch of other stuff. Even with coworkers, like, hey, man, I miss your coworkers. You know, we probably like, yell at each other at work, but like, I miss you guys. <laughs> yeah, it's. I never yeah. thought that. Uh... Like the whole quarantine deal is I remember my wife and I talking about it when they had first kind of brought up the, like the word first got dropped quarantine or stay in place order, whatever they call it. I was like, oh, it'd be cool to have a week off of work. It was cool until they did it. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? And now, like, what what do you do? There's so much time. We're just in the process of buying our first house. So there's always stuff to do. But like, I'm, I don't know. It, it, there's never been a greater time to be a content creator. I don't think. Yeah. Right. And everybody's on it too, man. Cause I'd be looking on Instagram. Everybody has Instagram. Everybody's making their TikToks. Everybody's doing whatever you need to do. So if they got something to share, man, by all means, go for it, man. It's the best time to do it. Especially if you got something good to share. Yeah. And with guys like Dan and Scuba throwing out stuff like, Hey, record something, send us, send it to us. And, uh, and we'll plug it on the channel. Like that's, and, and people will say different things. Everybody's got different opinions. But when push comes to shove, the word discovered comes into play, right? Music, movie stars, like when you get discovered is when things take off. So whoever they decide to push on their channel, uh, I mean, that's a that's a heavy burden to wear on your shoulders. Uh, like when you go from uh, 95 subscribers to 2,095 subscribers, you really have to play the game very well. You know, you have to make sure you're putting content out that's engaging for people. But just for them to be willing to do that, to put their name on somebody, that's that's amazing. You know, that's amazing. Yeah, no, no, definitely. I think a lot of people have tried that or kind of been influenced by that. Because um, a lot of people I talk to on the regular kind of kind of been doing that. They've seen, they've seen Dan do it or some other people do it. And they're like, let me give this a try. And I think it's kind of influenced a lot of people. Same thing with Scuba. They've influenced a lot of people to get, kind of get it started. So that's great. Like people always say, oh, there's too many people reviewing and all this stuff. Like, mm, that's fine. There's a lot of beer companies too. You let it happen, man. That's the best thing that can happen. Just makes and it not, not only that, I mean, when you think of when you take beard, like beard care or the beard videos into the larger scale, when you're talking about men's grooming in general, there's never, you're never going to saturate that market. It's never right. going to happen. There's a lot of people doing reviews, but you could even switch up so many big companies, big box companies are coming into the beard game. It's never going to end. You know what I mean? There's, I, I tell everybody, you share your opinions on IG, write these little stories, get behind a camera, put a video out, make a channel. You have Google, you have a channel, use it. Right. Yeah. Anybody can do it. I like your little backdrop there, man. You got a whole bunch of nice little companies back there. Oh yeah. So, uh, I had to have something. It's funny. I'm, I'm in the process of getting ready to actually build the formal studio. Yeah. But this is really just a corner of my dining room, which my wife loves very much. She loves. I bet she does. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
but yeah, man, it's, it works. Like these are great. They show the oils. It looks good on video, you know? So backgrounds, everything. I learned that from scuba. Yeah. I have a good background and my, it's, I don't know. I know I said it to you, but just for everybody that doesn't know, I went ahead and threw it in, in the bears colors. Yeah. The bears. The bears. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Chicago's a fun town, man. Uh, you know, I don't talk, I like the people outside of the event, the very few that I talk to personally, like my dad grew up uh, in Cicero. Yeah. So, and now the oh, whole family moved out, out to Fairbury. I can remember going out there to see my grandparents. It's just such a, it's a good city. I'm, I'm Jewish. So there's a huge Jewish um, cemetery in Chicago where a lot of my family's buried. So been there quite a few times. Are you a are you a Chiefs fan or are you a Raiders fan or I don't know what to say? Like, what I'm asking you, what, what fan are you for football? Uh, team to say that? I I am a Chiefs fan. There you go. Oh, well, congrats to them, man. They actually pulled I, it off. That was good, man. That was a very good freaking game. That was a long time ago, but that was sweet, man. That was yeah. Sweet. Was I I don't even know if there's gonna be a football season this year, but I remember uh, my mom was a huge Raiders fan, so there was always the yeah. huge division. Like you'd walk into her house, she had like. You know, Raiders fans are super diehard. She'd have Raiders blankets, Raiders pillows, and everybody else in the house is wearing Chiefs gear. But she she stood on that, man. Raiders fans are diehard. They are diehard, man. They'd be doing tattoos. They'd be going crazy stuff with that stuff, too, you know? Yeah. yeah. I saw a video of their quarterback doing, like, a – he did a video for, like, a bank where he's, like, trying to sing pop star style and still repping the Raiders. And all the Raiders fans are like, oh, that's the best video ever. It's it's gonna be a number one pop hit, you know what I mean? That's just Raiders fans. That's how they roll. Got to respect that. Yeah, yeah. But those those are the best kind of fans, man. You gotta love them. <laughs> yeah, sure. Both yeah. show. So, um, I was thinking about, uh, you know, the direction of the channel. You know, my channel is pretty new. I'm I'm, in comparison to the people that I I'm around, you know, like these guys. And it's not about numbers, you know, it was, I, I'd be lying if I said it wasn't, like I said in the beginning, but, you know, moving forward from the channel, dude, there's just, I'm really looking forward to some of the stuff that's coming. I've Thanks. heard some stuff coming down the pipe. Uh, I can't wait to see what happens, you know, that's like good. what's coming next. I'm always a yeah. what's coming next kind of guy. Yeah. Are you looking to change anything? I know you're not going to tell us something, but yeah, definitely subscribe. I'll put this information in the description and everything else. Definitely subscribe, check them out, do what you need to do. But yeah, man, I like how people are kind of like changing direction, trying to be everybody be a little bit different and stuff. I like how everybody has that passion of what to bring to the table. I think, uh, I, I, you know, I've started it recently with, I did a video for Jeff Chastain, the Kushal Bar video. Yeah. Uh, and then a company called Vicacon, I did their beard straightener. And then the straight razor lineup video. You know, that that's just a whole nother element that's different, you know, and it's fun. It's a great, great thing to do to be able to, not easy to put a camera up in your bathroom and get everything rolling, but it's fun to do the men's grooming stuff. I, I really, I want to focus on that. I want to drop one review and one grooming video a week, I think for a while and see how that, see how that yeah. does. If nothing else, yeah. I have a good time doing it, so. Yeah, same thing with me, if anything. Like, I'm trying to see if I can get some grooming guys on here as well. So I got to talk to a couple people, like my guy Carlos and a couple other people that kind of do different kind of grooming and stuff. Um, one, we got a lot of time in our hands. Two, they're style experts and different kind of grooming, like hair and other stuff. And there's stuff you can learn from them too, you know, to make our lives a little easier. So that kind of works out as well. So I know I, know I brought it, or we talked about it a little bit, mm -hmm. but... The villains, you know, that's a, another huge interest that I have. Like, I don't think a lot of people realize, like, what the villains are or what they represent until you really get into it. Uh, but I told you, like, I've talked to the local Kansas City chapter. I'd really like people to start, like, looking at what they do. Like, one of their big things, I'm a big charity fan, you know what I mean? I'm a big help others out when I can fan. And yeah. that's that's, like, one of the pillars of the villains, right? Yeah, yeah, charity is definitely one of the big ones. So yeah, I think I think that's yeah. and it's funny. I see like the Flag Friday pictures, you know, like when everybody's taking yeah. pictures, and some of them I'm like, those are some that's some great epic beards they have going on. But it's just guys hanging out, yeah. taking pictures worldwide. 
I, I, think, I, I think I saw yeah. a Ukraine chapter. Yeah. It's there's, crazy. A Ukraine, there's a there's an Asia chapter. There's the whole like basically like every it's like like European wise, like every state has one, every country has one in Europe. Um yeah. So it's been crazy and then like all the all the Latin nations have one as well. So yeah. It's been pretty cool. We were well, we are gonna have the world meeting in Chicago, so we'll see if that still happens. Um if we don't get all that stuff going on, it should be happening in August. So maybe if you wanna like come over and stuff. Um at least kind of hang out with the guys and kind of get introduced to them. Or if you do decide to join, you can always kind of get in contact with, with the local chapter and figure out what, what needs to be done. Um, oh, but yeah, yeah it's, it's a lot of interesting stuff that we do, that we do, you know, because I am a little bit, um, I usually don't really promote them on here just because I, I like to respect them and kind of keep things different. Um, but yeah, man, it's something that kind of feel proud of what, what we do and what the captains do, man, to just kind of keep everybody motivated. It's like a, it's basically a club of guys, bearded guys, you know, to keep everybody together. Like, hey, we're gonna do this and we're gonna do that, and move from one end to the other end. It's kind of hard, right? If you, if it's hard for little kids, imagine a grown man to like drink beer, or like to have beers and have fun. But you know, imagine getting everybody together once a month or once every couple months and trying to get everybody to do things, right? But yeah, it's definitely good when everybody meets up, has the right passion of things, and dedicated to family. Charity and a couple other things and loyalty. Yeah. Yeah, and I think those are all, uh, you know, kind of a sidebar. It seems like the world as it stands now is really doing its best to like demasculate men. You know what I mean? Like yeah. we go through all this stuff, like don't get a beard or you're supposed to have a six pack. Like this is what a man's supposed to look like. And it, it's all, not all of it, but a lot of it like feminizes men almost to take that power. I don't know about that power. It's probably not the right word, but to see guys like you and I and everybody in the bearded community that are just like, no, like I like being a guy. I like loyalty. I like respect. I like honor. Uh, I stand on my values. You know, it, it really, it kind of puts us in a different league than most people. You know, most people are just the world is what it is. People can say whatever they want. I'm not going to stand my ground. People have become so okay with just going with the flow to go against the grain as, as you know, fun yeah. in a respectful manner, I think. Not being like crazy, not blowing yeah. anything up. But. Yeah, no, yeah, you're right, you're right. Kind of just focusing on, on doing the right thing. Yeah, exactly the same way. But yeah, same thing, man. I think like, I don't know, man, if it's been the beard and stuff, but I think the past couple of years have been awesome, man. I've had, I made great friendships from villains to non-villains to everybody like yourself, Cribs, and a whole bunch of other people that I've talked to and met and have had conversations. Because I think we have all had our ups and downs, right? We've all fallen and we've gotten back up. And I think sometimes we need that little push or that motivation from another brother. And that's kind of helped out. Um, and I like to share stuff. Scripps kind of got me into sharing more stuff. So I grew up with all sisters, man. So I never really had a physical brother. But yeah, man, I kind of see you guys as my brother, man. Seriously. And I'm not kidding, right? I'm not going to say, oh, this what's going on, man. Whoever's listening or watching this, like, oh, for, for real, for real, man. I see you guys as my bros. Same thing for the villain. I mean, I got to kind of tell them that stuff a little bit more, though. But yeah, man. Like, whenever, like, somebody reaches out or I haven't seen you in a while, I haven't talked to you in a little bit, somebody reaching out or same way, man. I always like to reach out to somebody. Let me see what I can do to help you out or just kind of having that conversation makes somebody feel a little bit better, right? Because again, we're men, right? You gotta act tough and stuff. But sometimes we need that, we need that brotherhood too, man. Oh, for sure. I uh, so growing up, where I grew up. You know, Northern Cali is a different universe than most places I've ever seen, right? There's a lot of, a lot of gang activity, a lot of yeah. uh, different things. Like, uh, even though I'm, I'm Jewish, right? I'm still in that, that white boy category. Yeah. So it was kind of a, a different place. So growing up there and, and meeting the people that I met and being stupid when I was younger, I got big into, into heroin and, and meth because it was everywhere. Uh, running the streets, you know, I look back at those times and all the people that said, oh, you know, we're your friends, we have your back, whatever, that all fell away. Uh, some things happened. I, I was talking to Cribs the other day, and this is the first time I've ever even brought this up in the community. Uh, but like you said, you know, it's about sharing an experience. So maybe somebody could learn from it. Uh, so when I was deep, deep in addiction, right? Uh, I remember my mom telling me, she said, you know, I, I just wish you would go to prison. So I knew you were safe every night, you know, and that's a hard bullet, bullet to bite. Like yeah. that's a 
one. So I screwed up and uh, it's funny how prayers come through. You know, I, I caught a tampering with a witness charge, which is not glorified at all. You know, that's it's not, prison's not cool. Uh, yeah. And went 10 years, I had 10 years to sit in a, in a six by 10 cell and think about what I was going to do with my life. It's a non-parolable felony, you know? Uh, yeah. And none of the guys in the community outside of Cribs even know about this, but looking back at that time now and, and who I am and, and how God has moved in my life, you know, uh, finding my faith again, my, my family went away from Jewish tradition for a long time and Jewish traditions passed from father to son, father to son, you know, mm-hmm. and uh, to find that now and, and look back and I had to go through everything that I went through to become the man I am now. I'm sure I could have made, I know I could have made much better choices and probably come out the same way. But uh, if it wouldn't have been for me getting into recovery and getting sober, I wouldn't have met my wife. You know, I wouldn't have had my daughter. So it's just, it's funny. It's funny. But yeah, like brotherhood, my brother's rough, man. Rough. Uh, My sister too, though. My sister's, I'm short. I'm five, five. My sister's four foot seven. My brother's six foot five, right? Whoa. Yeah. on either side like both of them just completely ridiculous but the brothers uh and sisters like lone bear's wife keith's wife is one of the sisters in the community are just the best people ever you know that's actually where i heard your name for the first time i was out with uh with keith and his wife um at a barbecue place oddly enough in kansas city and they were like have you ever heard of uh javier satello and i was like I was only like a month into reviewing, so I was like, no. And they're like, oh, you've got you to gotta reach out to him. You've got to talk to him. Like, great guy in the bearded community, which is true. You know, you and I have talked in the past. Yeah, and thanks, brother. Same thing for you, bro. Yeah. It's, it's brotherhood's what it's all about, man. Yeah. And, and the females in the community. You know, beard companies are making female products, so they're yeah. supporting us, which is cool. It makes us one big, happy, happy family, you know? Yeah. yeah. And going back to... And Keith and Cindy, man, I think, I think, and I really thank them, man, because I think, like, when I was starting off, right, I was, like, nervous and stuff. They're like, hey, we're going to do something. We're going to do a little release party with, with you guys. So we had a little channel thing going on. Um, we had the Bearded Roundtable, which I love the guys. Definitely still talk to them. Um, but, yeah, man, they're like, we're going to try this out. That's that's how we kind of started doing the Bearded Roundtable because of Keith and Cindy, right? They're like, we're going to take a couple people that we're talking to. And would like to do it on your channel. So, like, here I am, you know, behind the gear, trying to get everything nervous, and then they're trying to get everything going. And then I think that was, like, four or five hours that we were kind of talking to the whole night. <laughs> so that was pretty fun, man. Yeah, and then kind of just been a great experience since then. Yeah, wow. they're definitely not hard to talk to. Like, they're yeah. so open and, and honest, yeah. man. They're such great people. Yeah. yeah. And then when I when I knew I was having the little one, like, let me – I, I told, you know, I told a handful of people, like, hey, I got to let them know right away, you know. I let, little by little, started letting people know, and then, like, a few months afterwards, like, I got to let their, all the brothers know. I'm like, that's not, you know, that's not right if I don't let all the girls know. So, yeah, I kind of put it on the Instagram stuff. And I recently, recently, um, so I, I stopped Facebook um, like, since my mom passed. So I put that aside for a little bit, and um, I got back on just because, I do have like friends and family, or whoever still left on Facebook. Um, so I turned it back on. So one, I can let them know that, which I will let them know of anything, that I have a baby on the way. And when the baby comes out, right, I don't want to keep anybody from those pictures and stuff. So I'll be sharing pictures on that too. And then maybe I'll close it like in a year or so. But yeah, I don't want to keep that from anybody who's not able to one visit her. Is everything going on? But I'm having a little girl, by the way. I don't know if I told you, bro. Yeah. That's all. Little girls are great. My daughter yeah. is, yeah. She and I think from even like the day she was born, I remember my wife telling me like, she's already got you wrapped around her finger, and it's true. Like the little girls, how do you say no? You know what I mean? Yeah. Right now in the belly, she has me wrapped around her finger. Like whenever she hears my voice, she's like, oh, she's kicking. You no, know, she's doing this. I'm like, you gotta do this. You gotta do that. Like she gets what she wants. You know. <laughs> Yeah, and it's uh, it's funny. Like I remember well, when my daughter was when we first brought my daughter home, she had her days and her nights mixed up, right? So, I mean, I get up five in the morning every morning, try and go to bed early. She would keep me up till three thirty in the morning, and not even you know, it's funny to have a relationship where you there's no anger, like you, like it's just I'm okay looking at her for three hours and having to get up in an hour and go to work. So it's definitely a 
you know, my daughter, I have a daughter that's 13 and two sons that are uh, 19 and 20 and their entire life, you know, I was either, I was either deployed or in prison, right? So this is the first time from beginning to end, and that's not something to be proud of, but it's the truth. This is the first time day to day that I've been able to have that interaction. So yeah, it's, it's really cool. It's really yeah. fun. Yeah. So you were in the service? Yeah. Yeah. I was in the army. I went in the army straight out of high school. Yeah. Uh, pretty cool experience. I mean, it was fun. Uh, in those days I was very hard headed and not good at listening. Uh, I was, I had no, I, I was not humble at all. Like humility was not my strong suit. So, you know, it didn't really suit me. I did what I had to do. Uh, I came home and, you know, the funny thing in vets is another one of my big passions, you know, yeah. um, like I wear the, the 22 a day bracelet every day, you know, 22 veterans, we lose 22 veterans to suicide every day due to PTSD. Yeah. So, um, yeah, man, uh, like you just to see those guys that have fought for our country and come mm -hmm. back, have no support or be go to the VA where their first and second answer is Oxycontin and Xanax, you know, that's no good. But yeah. it's, it happens. It's just it happens. It yeah. Yeah. Man. Um, um, I never serve, but yeah, I always definitely respect that everybody who has. But uh, yeah. Tell you, I'll tell you a big change for me is like you know obviously my my choices in my younger days to now. So my I call him my brother. He's my best friend, but I mean he's the he's he might as well be blood. You know, is law enforcement and he's a cop, and those are. Like, a, they get such a bad rap, and granted, there's bad people in positions around the world. You could find somebody doing something wrong in every position from right. uh, anywhere, you know, from working at McDonald's all the way up to the White House. But those guys put their life on the line every day, you know, every day when you think about it. Like, I don't know whether my brother's going to go out and get shot by a stray bullet. I don't know whether he's going to walk into a house and something crazy going on. So, Man, I give it up to those guys. I, I really do. Like, it's crazy. Firefighters, too. Those guys yeah. are nuts. Those guys are crazy. Yeah. Burning building. Yeah, yeah that, that, that's crazy. And um, my neighborhood is, has, like, it's like cops slash firemen kind of neighborhood and teachers and stuff. Because, like, we live in the city of Chicago, but, like, right at the border where, like, they have to live in the city. So that's kind of a little neighborhood that they kind of choose. Definitely, I respect even going out right now. With the whole COVID nineteen going on, because man, we're 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 getting police officers and other stuff, and um, kind of getting that getting infected with that stuff too, man. So that's that's a little crazy, man. But yeah, they they still working, still doing their thing. Um, another one is Jester, man. Jester's one one of the guys that kind of came to my head, man, because he was um, Peter Jester. Yes. Yeah. So he's a cop as well, and I know he's been kind of like doing his thing and. In, in New York and stuff, but yeah, man, somebody who kind of keeps in mind is kind of him. Um, yeah, like the lesson was mentioning that, yeah, it's just once he doesn't want to make sure his family gets sick on his end, so and not just like yeah, and I have never heard somebody with a more fitting name like yeah. Jester, like when that dude, man, you know, yeah. he, he co hosted the, the Beardies with Tyson, is kind of when I first came in. And that dude puts out studio quality video on his phone. Yeah, man, that guy's sick. I love that guy, and I always bring him up, man. But yeah, he's one of the he's one of the main dudes, man. He's one of my main guys. Oh, yeah, him, Metal Angel, too. Metal man, yeah, and then yeah, Metal Chef as well too. But yeah, pretty cool guy. Pretty cool guy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's so many like Zebra, Bearded Zebra. Yeah. Uh, Beard Life 973, Joe, uh, all of those guys, you know, uh, Metal Guy 1983, yep. those guys are, they're in the trenches putting out work, you know, and when you, when you look at the YouTube universe and you see people that are doing good, good, super quality work that are putting in the work on their reviews and they're only getting like five or six review, five or six views and some thumbs up and they're still putting in work every day religiously, they're grinding it out, man. That's the yeah. off in the long run. Those are the next guys, you know. I was talking with Tyson, and uh, the truth of the evolution, right? The evolution of YouTube is Scuba is huge, right? Scuba is his channel is enormous. He's earned that every day. He's grind he grinds for that. Uh, Dan is is quickly gonna join that upper echelon, you know. Yeah. Uh, 
and, and branch out to probably other things. So those guys that are putting out these videos that are grinding it out, they're coming up next. You know, it, yeah. I know it's hard to see, like I'm a, I get nearsighted sometimes when it comes to stuff like that, but those guys are up and coming. Like they are, I recommend everybody. Like if you just type in beard reviews, there's people, people have probably never even heard of uh, bearded down low, uh, purposely bearded Tevin. Like these guys are putting in work. They are grinding every day. Yeah. Uh, because they love it so it'll yeah. pay off i know it will yeah, yeah. And, and then that's good man that's why i try to those are the ones that i try to go to first right because those are my like my little circle of guys and stuff i'll watch their videos first and then kind of go to everybody else but yeah man i think like get, i think in scary Reader kind of said it right everybody kind of starts off like with no views like we were talking about like when he first had his accounts or his wine things like nobody went to my store nobody went to my online thing nobody received my faxes and all of a sudden, I blew up. He's like, that didn't happen overnight. He's like, I spent my 20s. Everybody was, like, going out, partying. He's like, I spent my 20s in my dad's um, liquor store. I'm like, yeah, and that's what he did, man. He didn't mean to enjoy the money until he was in his late 30s and 40s, man. And that's true. Like, it doesn't happen overnight. Like, you do it a little steady and steady, and then you're doing the right thing and you're doing the right talking, it pays off. But yeah, man, you got to grind, like you're saying. Do the grinding, and this pays off. Yeah, and it's not, it's, it's not like the... I have yet to see somebody, I mean, you can put like PewDiePie or somebody like that into the mix or um, Ryan, Ryan's world, the toy guy, mm -hmm. the toy kid. like you can put those in the mix. But yeah. when you come into like, when you're looking at solid analytics, uh, it's people that have been grinding it out. Dan tells me all the time, like he sent me a picture of his growth graph, right? Because I was probably being in pain. I definitely was being impatient and probably whining a little bit more than any grown man should. And uh, he showed me like, Dave, this doesn't happen overnight, man. Keep doing what you're doing. Like the, that's the, it, it's a long-term thing. And this is such a cliche because I hear every YouTuber say it. Like it's a marathon, not a sprint. Right. It's a marathon. You got to hang in there. Yeah. Because I think everybody's saying that, right? When people put video after video after video and all of a sudden they just stop completely. And then, like, what happened? Like, you were doing pretty good. And I was like, I, I didn't get the views. I didn't get this. I didn't get the whatever. Like, yeah, but the thing doesn't happen overnight. But, yeah, it, it's, I mean, it is what it is. I've been but, known yeah. to harass people like that. Like, <laughs> uh, Nasrog, right? Good, great dude. Super. He's got a lot of potential as a reviewer. And he's just kind of coming around to it. When yeah. I started reviewing, he was getting ready to put out his first video. And life got in the way. You know, that happens sometimes. Yeah. And so he started putting pictures up and this is probably the last month he started putting pictures up as on his IG and I'm at him, right? Like, so are you going, to, I, this is a great, this is a great writing piece. Are you going to get behind the camera? Like what, and he's a vet too. So I drive yeah. him. Like if you have PTSD, this is a great way to extra, like I'm everywhere. He made a video and he was like, I got to shout out that beard guy, Kansas city for consistently harassing me. It, yeah. <laughs> harassing me. Yeah. Everybody needs that. You know, if yeah. I, if I was to get inside my own head and not listen to like all of the guys that I respect, all of the guys that have been grinding well before me, I would quit. And too many times I see, we see that happen. You know, guys come in, they're on fire, make two videos, didn't get 10,000 views, big surprise, right? Didn't make it overnight right. famous. And then they're done. You know, you never hear from them again. And it's unfortunate because everybody's voice matters in this community. You might see something, I see things different than most people do, right? I, right? I like what I like. I don't like what I don't like. But somebody, everybody has this message, right? Everybody has this testimony. And this is the greatest platform ever to yeah. share testimony, man. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah, I like how you're preaching it. Right? But yeah, man, I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to start harassing people. Do it. <laughs> do it. Because somebody, somebody's name comes to mind when you're saying that. I'm like, eh. <laughs> like, huh. Yeah, it's I'll positive. Just start making videos. Yeah, positive harassment. Yeah, and, and positive I, harassment. Yeah, I don't plan on stopping being that way because you know that that's how uh, I think. I'm trying to think of the first person I ever reached out to when I was going to start reviewing. I I shoot for the stars, so knowing me it was probably Scuba or somebody that like has a real job and and like is super busy and cinema quality work, like all the work he puts in. Uh, but it was probably. If it wasn't Tyson, it might have been Mo the Bearded Shark, now that I think about it. Uh -huh. uh, that, Like I said, I was going to make a video, and then I didn't put it out, and they're like, so where's this video? So what's going on? I thought you were going to make a video. And, you know, Tyson still does that. Like uh, Eric Van Holes emailed me and said, laid out the whole 
how to be successful on YouTube, like his strategy. And one of the big ones was releasing three videos a week. So still Tyson calls me if I'm 10 minutes behind. So I'm just sitting here waiting on this video, just waiting on this video to come out. <laughs> so it's cool. You know, it's, it yeah. is it's fun, man. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think we should do something like that. I don't know if it's already out there or not. Maybe I'm behind the scenes because I haven't been on this whole YouTube thing, but you know how they're doing all these challenges? Kind of doing like a get your butt back on this video kind of motivational challenge, like get, get a video out there on YouTube, man. You start challenging people. So I don't know if it's been out there or not, but yeah, whoever hasn't done a video in a while, like we should do like that challenge. Because I know Matt, Matt, um, what he do, what it is, started making his videos again. Matt calls himself Matt the, the sports beard now. Yeah, he yeah. kind of switched up the channel, didn't he? And he switched it up a little bit. But yeah, man, that was my guy too, man. Like, dude, you're my guy. What happened? And then somebody else really comes to mind. I'm going to probably challenge him. I might, I might, once I put this on, 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 um, or upload it, I might just say, hey, man, doing a challenge video or a challenge thing. Like, put your butt back on making videos. Yeah, I think Angel was beard dude, right? He is still beard dude, but I know he's doing something on the side, right? Because he took like a cinematography. I call him Mr. Goat, yeah. man. I call him Chivo in Spanish because there's Chivo Lubeski, who's like like Mexican cinematographer. Amazing video, man. And then that's my guy, man, Angel. He's going to be the next goat, man, the next Chivo right there, man. He'd be making some sick videos there, man. Yeah, I, I watched. Uh, you know, I went through that stage when I was like, if I'm going to review, I'm going to watch everybody. I'm going to try and pick up something from every person. And he had that presence, you know. Some people just get behind the camera and they just shine. Like yeah. me, I, I can, dude, my wife will be the first one to say it. Like, I don't even know if I shut up when I'm sleeping, you know, like I, <laughs> so the camera wasn't all that awkward, but yeah. you know, some people have to work at that. And then there's people that are just so natural, you know, you see it and you're like, oh, this is going to be, uh, no BS is a prime example yeah. or, or even beard times with Scott, like yeah. Scott will get behind a camera. Any, I saw a video of him while he was washing his hands, right? He's got the camera facing up. He's washing his hands and still going at it. Uh, so it, it's just, yeah, man, it just it takes all kinds. And uh, yeah. some people have it, some people don't. And even the people that don't have it can get it. It's definitely a learned behavior. It is. It's definitely, like you're saying, it's a learned behavior. But yeah, man, some of these kind of talks, like I remember when I had uh, Scott on my thing, I'm like, dude, we're going to do this for like an hour or so. I think we were talking for like three hours straight. I'm like, bro. <laughs> Like, I'm going to run out of hard drive, man. I have to be like an external hard drive and everything else. Because I have like a little cloud thing and everything else. Like, dude, I'll, I think I'm going to bust my computer right here. <laughs> yeah, I have to yeah. uh, I have to tone myself down, you know. Like, when I get in, Swag is, is one of those people that when he comes in a room, he comes in the room. You know yeah. what I mean? And uh, so it was, it's interesting. I just, I recently joined the Beard Trend Reviewers yeah. uh, after some changes happened. It's uh, me, uh, Kaz swag and tyson now for that's the lineup as it sits at the moment which is subject to change at any time yeah. uh but you get in a room with those three guys and they're power hitters you know what i mean like i i i, I it's weird it's weird to be the quietest person in the room with my personality but yeah yeah so you guys are all talking that's good man that's real good yeah i think it's gonna go places it's still yeah. it started a while back but when you talk about people that are in that group i mean uh you've got patrick mr beardtastic you've got beards and banjos who's i don't know how many videos of his i've watched mick is a real close friend of mine beardy vlogger uh but i mean to be invited to that group of guys is just epic you know and i'm grateful for i'm grateful for everybody in the community i like i like uh i like swag's philosophy of just throwing out love to everybody you know what i mean and yeah. it's not easy because there might be a couple of haters in the mix but you know. yeah yeah, just learn. And that's the thing that Swag said, like, dude, if somebody's hating, just, like, let it go, man. Like, dude, needs to do It's all brotherhood. We all forgive each other and all this other stuff. Like, man, if I had some drama with somebody, man, I, I just gave it up or whatever, man. So, like, if, if they ever watch my videos or talk to me or something else, like, hey, man, hit me up, guys. So, like, whatever, man. Hit me up. Do what you need to do. If that ever was the case or something. So, I'm, I'm down to talk. But, yeah. If that's yeah. ever been if you look at it, I mean, I, I might get in trouble for saying this, probably not, but statistically speaking, like look, uh, Jesus had 12 friends and one of them was a hater, right? So yeah, you sure. think about it that way. And, and in the beard game, it's different because everything comes to light at one point or another. Like you'll hear people, oh, somebody trashed me in this live stream, but I wasn't there. 
like it, it all comes out in the wash and it all gets dealt with in a real direct manner. Like nobody has to say trifling things or trash anybody's channel. Like even if somebody has beef, I've seen people with beef work together. Uh, but the big thing is like, if we're men, uh, the whole turn the other cheek theory, like you can insult me, you can insult my channel, but I'm, you're just going to make me hustle harder. Yeah. Like I, I am that guy. Dan said it the best. He was like, you know, the haters come at me and it's just fuel for my fire. And him and I have that same mentality. Like, oh, you said I wasn't going to make it in the beard game. Uh, all that stuff you said, maybe you're right, but let's find out. Like, I'm going to see how hard I can push and how much I can get good quality video and sit in the studio and make my tracks and get my music put together to put for front of videos. Like, you can say whatever you want. And this sounds kind of arrogant, but it's it really, I guess it is. Uh, you can say whatever you want. The people can say whatever they want. Confident, yeah. <laughs> yeah. People can say whatever they want, but at the end of the day, you're going to remember me one yeah. way or another. Like, I'm going to hustle until I get to a comfortable spot, and then I'm going to find another mountain to climb. You know what I mean? That's just – that's how I think all – deep down, it's that competitive nature. It's the, the alpha male in me. Like, I have to see if I can do this. And uh, it, with this situation, I just got super blessed, man. I, I can't say it enough. I, I tell people all the time, like, I hang out with guys that have beards. Uh, I'm the only, I'm one of the only ones I know that doesn't drink. So like, everybody's like, Hey, come out and have a beer. And I'm like, I'll come out and watch you have a beer. I'll drive you home, whatever. But like, everybody has the commonality of everybody's respectful. And if they're not, they're not around very long. And, yeah. uh, and everybody just looks out for everybody. It's so weird to say like this day and age, man, I can't say it enough. What I love about this community, man, straight up, straight up. That's how it, it's, it's always been. And, um, yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's just, it is what it is. I love, I love it, love it, love it. For sure. So uh, we talked about some newer reviewers. We yeah. talked about some big guys. What about companies? Have you, uh, is there any companies out there, newer companies that you're dying to try? Yeah, newer companies. Again, I've been out of this for a little bit, but dying to try. Um, beer gents, I've been trying to try them because I, I got one of the bars from my guy, Ryan from Utah. He sent me that one of the coffee bars. Man, I just destroyed that coffee bar. It was really good in beer, man. I was even using it for the body and everything else, man. Definitely want to try the, the Caballero and a couple other things there, man. I haven't been able to try um, that. And there's a couple other ones I've been trying to look into. Um, but yeah, man, I, I like I said, I've been kind of, I've been flying low in the radar of anything. What, what recommendations you got? Ooh, a J at, at Beer Gents, you know, Aside from like, t again, taking the beard game out of the situation, when you talk about a dude with a big heart, yeah. like Jay comes to mind. Uh, I mean, he just did that whole push for like uh, his cause. I think it was uh, kidney failure. Like he had yeah. a big national uh, kidney failure thing going on, which is super cool. Uh, so a lot of love. Jolly old fat man, Bam. Uh, he's yeah. another one. I've seen him like send people chairs you know what i mean because they didn't have a chair where they could sit upright uh but company wise i don't there's so many up and coming i i can't say their name but i'm about to do a product drop with a canadian company tomorrow for their new scent um bay area beard company i think is really good uh yeah. barbudo out of utah yeah really nice husky i mean you can't go wrong with ray you can't go wrong. yeah awesome. now, all around great guy. There's a couple I'm I'm like the only guy in the beard company community that's never tried, like Beard Octane. I've never tried anything. You haven't I've... tried Joel stuff? Dude, you no. haven't tried Joel stuff. <laughs> uh, I haven't yeah. tried Holy Grail from uh -huh. Kingsman. Yeah. So I'm dying to try that one. But I don't know, man. There's companies everywhere. I, there's... Yeah, there's companies everywhere, dude. That, that's why, like, I, I kind of, again, I, I kind of, like, thought myself, like, I have a baby coming there. I can't buy no more stuff. So I'm just going to finish what I have, and then afterwards I'll start purchasing the ones in what purchasing power I have versus her, because then it's all going to be her. But yeah, once once we kind of get a little bit more purchasing power, I'll start buying little by little, and anything myself too. And the, the companies, like I know a lot of time we talk about the our, uh, us in the community, we talk about reviewers between each other, or we talk about reviewing, but when you talk about what makes a reviewer, like if somebody could have a shining personality, if the companies aren't behind them, it's just not there. And yeah. the companies are, I mean, they're, they're sacrificing their income right now because they understand what's going on. 50% off, uh, yeah. throwing out 40% off codes. I mean, like they're just, 
as much into it. And that's this is some of their livelihoods, you yeah. know. So I got I got to show a ton of respect to those guys, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like I see Honest Ape back there too. Honest Ape was mixing good stuff too, man. Pedo was my 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 brother to my hermano there um, as well. Uh, have you ever tried um? Have you tried Bad Dog? Not yet. Not yet. You guys definitely tried Jeff stuff too from Maine. Yeah, yeah, I have. There's so many I haven't tried that I hear people talk about all the time, like Ruddy Man. I haven't yeah. tried. I haven't joined the the Tingle Army yet. Uh, I just got Honest Ape in. I was lucky because he quit shipping the next day. I haven't. I've been waiting. Uh, I like to wear products for a week before I review them. Yeah. So he's definitely in the mix. Um, God, I could probably think of. I that probably have ten on the shelf that I haven't tried yet. At least. Yeah. I'll tell you who's got me right now. Chesapeake. Yeah. I would. I I put it off forever. And Gary's another one. He's a vet. Yep. That dude gives and gives and gives. I mean, he had the the Aria Strong deal, yeah. and then he threw in on our charity and, and gave away everything that he bid on, and it got put back out there. But uh, I got I got Potomac, which I ended in oil and butter, and then I had to get on the Beard Vitality. And, I, I mean, I'll go ahead and say it now. It's early in the year. I don't see a product touching Beard Vitality for a while. Really? It's yeah. – amazing like he did so well on that man yeah. just a great dude though good good products he i got peaked that's what they call it i got i got peaked. yeah like, yeah yeah <clears throat> i haven't gotten anything from from gary in a little bit but he did send me some hair products recently and um they were pretty good man i gotta i gotta keep checking them out i might have to get some of those he put out a charcoal detox beard wash and co-wash that i think are epic man yeah epic. Yeah. My wife's kind of tired of me getting co-washes. I have like a whole shelf in the bathroom and then stuff in the shower. And I'm like, oh, I'm just trying it out. And it just never leaves. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Uh, I just tried Detroit Grooming. I tried one of their oils, but Traverse City, I'm a big tobacco guy. And Mike, uh, him and I talked, he was in that charity as well. And uh, I mean, that's another one. That we talk about beard butter. It's the guy that invented it. You know, how can you go... I can yep. see anything about good things. And he's a great, super great dude. Yeah. Yeah. I've been, I've been, um, <clears throat> I went to, like, yeah, I went to Detroit. Um, well, I got reasons to go to Detroit and uh, stuff and everything. But yeah, um, saw like the Bell Isle. So I like kind of looked at it and then seen a couple of different names. Like, oh, this all makes sense now. Like, all this like, stuff makes sense. And that should have definitely stopped by, man. Cause I was by the 696 or something like this. Person, like, dude, this is like right above me where I should be getting off, but I just had to keep going where I was going to. But yeah, once all this is over, I'll probably be making a, a pit stop of anything over there. Yeah, Mike. Mike's, Mike's, uh, I remember Mike was in a live stream and I was, I'm one of those people, like I ask for advice a lot. I won't ever ask for directions, but I'll ask for advice a lot. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I was like, hey, as, as the new guy, like, what's your recommendation? Like, how should I approach this? Or you know, what should my mindset be? And he was like, being the new guy is one of the best things you can be. You know, it's not like I was looking at it like the new guy uh, in high school and it was never good being the new white guy in high school where I went to school. But like being the new guy in the in the beard game is good. It keeps the he said it keeps the guys that have been there forever on their toes. Yep. And it keeps the guy coming behind you uh, wanting to strive for more. So yes. that's super quality piece of advice i can yeah that was that's that's great advice right there yeah yeah because you're all you're motivating the, the little guys right but then you're like you're, you're making the big guys like come at me come on come on like, that motivates me and then it kind of keeps everybody kind of moving forward that's yeah, good man love that yeah, it's, it's yeah. definitely uh you know i mean we're guys we're going to be competitive you know but yeah we all have that competitive spirit no matter what even though people are like no nah, we're good we're being modest and stuff like no nah, man at the end of the day like yeah i gotta i gotta win no matter what there's only one winner everybody else is not winning <laughs> absolutely and i think anybody that doesn't have that type of mindset like uh i'm a big fan of like i'll do anything for anybody right i tell people all the time when i when i talk to them on the phone or when my messages like if you need me at 3 a.m call me i'll be there but at the end of the day just know that we can be friends and be in competition like yeah. I have 250 uh, subscribers on my channel. You have 7,000. Like I'm going to do my best to play catch up. Right. Yeah. But it is what it is. You know, who cares? Yeah. I, I, 
I told Tyson the other day, I've come to the point where I don't care if three people watch my videos, it's, it's my, that's my love. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I love producing. I love everything that goes behind it. So I'm, I'm there and I'll get to 20 K one. I'll call it now. I'll go ahead and call it down now. Like I'll get to 20 K one of these days. No, you will be. Yeah. Yeah. And like I said, dude, I like your producing the videos, man. I, dude, I'm telling you, you got good quality stuff, man. For being the rookie, you say the rookie, man. I see that you've been doing this. For, I thought you've been doing this for a little bit or kind of had something similar to for him. Not yeah, man. You talk, yeah. Yeah. You look like you've been putting in the work for it. Definitely putting in the work for it. I got to be honest, like when it comes to cinematography stuff, like anyone who says they don't take things away from what Scuba says is probably not telling the complete truth. Uh, but just the, his helpful hints that he drops, Dan, of course, helping me out. Like he helps. I got to say one thing about Dan, man, when he says I'm there, if you ever, if you ever need me, like he's serious, yeah. like this guy grinds and he'll still answer every message. But Tyson, man, Tyson, that dude, we, I've talked, I've, he gets annoyed by how much him and I talk, I think, which is understandable. But uh, like when it comes to like editing and doing things that I need to do and how to build the channel the way you want to build it and how to grow and mostly like cinematography stuff, like my cameras or my mics or whatever, like dude, Tyson, him and I've spent hours talking. That's just another example, man. Yeah. Like when you reach out to somebody like Dan, uh, who is uh, rapidly approaching being, He's already great, rapidly yeah. approaching that that upper echelon. I mean, he's already there, but like growing as fast as he's growing, for him to take thirty seconds out of his day and talk to somebody, what does that tell you? Yeah, no, oh, yeah, dude, and and I and I've met Dandy, and that's another guy like he's he's himself no matter what. Like when he came to Chicago and stuff, and then hope I mean I've been trying to visit him too because again, I've been going to Detroit a lot more often. Uh, well, I'm, I'll be going to Detroit a lot more often and stuff, but yeah, man. Um, an hour away from where he's from. Uh, yeah, I definitely want to see his little one, and then you know that way eventually, when all this is over, you get to see my little one and stuff. But yeah, man, like somebody like that's family, bro. Straight up, no matter what, if if, if him or you, you're kind of going into that too, or, or a couple other brothers there, man. If anything you guys need, just let me know, man. I see you guys as brothers, like straight up brothers, brothers. Man. And it's cool yeah. to see like the people that include their kids in their video, right? Yeah. Like, I feel like I've I've watched their kids grow watching their videos, you know, like yeah. uh, Joe Beard Life nine seven three with with Sammy Cakes in yeah. the videos, and even Tyson with Aubrey in the videos. Like just to see that family and Dan on IG, like when he's, you know, it, it lets you know they're real and they're yeah. up, what they say. Like family's everything, man. So, and even Swag when he first started with his son, you know, him yeah. and his son, which I have heard rumor. Of oh, his oh. coming back, I have nice rumors, nice. which I, I'm super excited about, man. Yeah, I'd be excited too. What you said, you got, yeah. What kind of cameras you got in there that you'd be working with? I run a Canon M50. Okay. Um, pretty stock, pretty standard, uh, beginner level camera, um, uh, softbox, uh, one of the LED adjustable lights, and then the I bought these lights in my background for like nine dollars on Amazon. Really. Yeah, this I got from my mic was from uh, Facebook Messenger for twenty five bucks. Nice. Yeah, Dan and Tyson talked me into spending the money on this camera. Yeah, but it's M fifty is good. Yeah, M fifty is good. Yeah, it, it does, camera. Yeah, those are those are good. Yeah, it does really. Really, I need to get a new lens on it, like a wide angle. But that's down the road. You know, I'm like you. Like I have a a baby, and she comes first. And yeah, it's like when you're weighing options. I was talking to my wife today. I think like oh. I need to buy a new lens. It's only three hundred dollars. You know, she's like, "Do you really need a lens?" Like, no, I don't need it, but right. I, need, you know, what I mean, I need right. that. <laughs> exactly, exactly. If anything, I think you could do like the super boosters, the speed booster. So, if anything, those are a little bit cheaper. If anything, like a speed booster for the Canon, might still be a little expensive. Though. It's really funny. Like, yeah. I'm looking at my text messages, right? Yeah, and I'm like. I don't know if you can see that, like that, I, that's Gary V. Yeah. I, and he's like, uh, he just says stuff like, I'm really hoping today's a nice day for you. And if it isn't, I'm sending all my love and support. I really hope you and your loved ones are well. Like when you think about somebody like Gary V reaching out and sending that, like the dude's amazing. I can't say enough good things about Gary. Yeah. yeah. And I like it how 
like him and another other a lot of other influencers, right? Like they're already on Instagram, they're already on Snapchat, they're already on Facebook and everything else. Like, hey man, what can we do? Let's do those personalized text messages, man. And when they say it's him, it's that personalized. Like, hey man, is this you? Like, yeah, this is me. Like, what the hell? Dude? I don't know if it's like an algorithm or it's actually him sending like a hundred different messages. Like, bro, how are you doing all this? <laughs> yeah, A Rod just kind of got on that whole deal. Yeah. He started doing like the personalized. But just even if even if it's ran through some kind of bot, just to sit down every day and be like, what can I write somebody that's yeah. inspirational? You know, like Josh Coburn, like when he comes on IG and he's got a sign and Josh is just that super heavy metal, like jamming heavy metal in the background. Yeah. And it says something like, uh, it's OK to love everybody. You're like, what? <laughs> exactly. That's, yeah. that's what it is, you know? Yeah, I've been quarantined a lot. So you got any recommendations for Netflix or anything to read or anything mm -hmm. else you re kind of recommend? So I think everybody's recommendation is probably Tiger King right now. Yeah, I, finished, I just finished that one, dude. It was it was, it was crazy. It was crazy. I'm, <laughs> I'm super guilty of not watching it at all. Uh, yeah. My wife loved it, though. Um, yeah. We try and find, like, obscure shows to watch. Like, we just watched one called... Uh, what was that? Tales from the Loop, which was kind of interesting. Uh, I'm going to start one called Good or Bad Omens today. Uh, that's got kind of a comedy angel devil thing, which is hilarious. I don't know. I've, I've, I'm not really, it's, I'm more of a reader. You know, I read yeah. a lot. Um, digging into my heritage, there's so much stuff to read. Like, I just rifle through stuff. But most of the time, I sit here and just binge watch beard reviewers on yeah. YouTube. <laughs> yeah. That's what I've been trying to do, catch up on all the guys' stuff. But yeah, man, I've been trying to read a little bit more too, which kind of bringing me an idea for like either switching up my YouTube channel completely or starting a second one. I'm thinking more about starting a second one because you kind of motivated me, like kind of making sure I kind of keep this going. Because I mean, there's a lot of brothers that like I need to talk to as well, man. Kind of like talk to them and everything on it. Even though, like you said, man, we have like maybe five people, ten people listening to this. It, it, It'll help somebody, man. That's the way I see it. If it helps somebody, man, I think it's worth it. Yeah, absolutely. It's I heard not, uh, it feels good for me, if anything. Yeah. I heard Scott was starting like a a book review channel as well. Yeah. You know, he's he's into reading a lot. Um, you just never know. I've heard. Uh, I think the mayor is starting a beef jerky channel. Yeah. Which is interesting. Yeah. I I I don't, <laughs> know, I don't know if I've laughed as hard as I did the other night when he ate that Carolina Reaper beef jerky. Like, I had to call my wife over here. Like, just the look on his face was... Or Dan, when Dan did it, like, a couple of weeks before. Those guys, man. Yeah. Crack me up. Yeah. Yeah, I've been missing a lot of live streams and everything. Just because I've been on the computer all day. Like, man, I, I'm trying to, like, work less hours while being at home. But for some reason, I end up working a lot more. Like, great. Like my phone goes off, my computer goes off, they ping me, they find ways to get in contact with me. Like, ah. Sometimes I just want to take off the VPN and just stay away from that and just watch some videos of anything else. Yeah, yeah I think uh, I think this since this quarantine started, I've been I've been more on fire to do what I what we do, like to do reviews and do different stuff than than maybe ever before. And it's the big thing about this quarantine. And I, uh, you know, they, I see so many people like TV, radio, uh, or the news saying, you know, we're in this together. You know, okay. this has done something that hasn't been done in so many years. Like when I was a kid, I remember going home when the streetlights came on to eat dinner with the family, right? Yep. The world changed into this whole fast food uh, convenience thing. And now people are sitting at home going, hey, we're all sitting here. Let's cook dinner. You know, families are coming back around the table. So if nothing else good came out of it, like I've seen more people on walks without their cell phones than I probably have in I don't know how long. So yeah, cool. yeah, putting technology away. That, that's that's what it's coming to. Because seriously, like when you got everything, <laughs> your your work and your home, like it no longer feels like a home. Like I go to the kitchen, like your laptop goes off, your phone goes off, everything goes off. Nope, it's my lunch break. Leave me alone. And they know you're home. You can't go nowhere. Like, you're not responding. <laughs> like, I know you're at my lunch break. It's my you lunch get, break. You get the text message like, I know you're at the house. I know you're at the house. <laughs> Pick up the phone. <laughs> right. I know you hear it ringing. But yeah, we man. can see you. Like, stop playing. <laughs> right. Quit playing. No, really, we can.
So they can, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, man, I, uh, I don't, I didn't get to say it at the beginning, but uh, you know, I really appreciate you bringing me on here. I know we've been kind of chatting for a while, and uh, it's nice to get on here. You know, I've never done like the podcast thing or really yeah. just been in a one-on-one like this, so it's really cool. I, like what you do is so necessary to the community. You know, like guys need to get on board and get it. I know you you interviewed Joe from Beard Octane yeah. and, and Mick and Swag and some other people. Like this is something we should like people should do all the time. Like get the community around to know each other, you know? I'm gonna start being like work, like I know you're at home. I'm gonna start messaging people. I know you're home, man. So let let me turn on this laptop and find you. No, just right. You don't, <laughs> you don't have to Skype, it's free. See you in ten minutes. Right. And now that I have Zoom, I have other stuff. So yeah, I think I'm gonna start reaching out like, hey man, let me know when you're available. Like let me know when you have thirty minutes. It doesn't have to be a full hour or nothing else. But yeah, I think it, it's for me it's kind of of something to unwind and kind of be able to chat about it or anything. But yeah, man, I appreciate you kind of getting me motivated to do this, man, because I haven't done this in a little bit. Like, you know what? Because I messaged you and like, hey, man, what's going on? We should do this. I'm like, you know what? Let's do this Tuesday because if I don't do it, I'm just not going to do it. I'm like I said, we'll do it like in this week. I'm like, ah, I'll follow up with you and then we'll follow up. Like, I'll never get done. Like, no, let me set a date. Let me do this. If not, it wouldn't have happened, to be honest with you, man. So thank you, man. And then kind of keeping up, what time are we doing this? That like, you kind of pushed me too. Like, yep, we'll do it at seven. If not, because work was getting to me today, like, ah, I was gonna be like, yeah, should I do it? Should I not do it? Like, what time? Seven o'clock work. I needed my little walk with, with the baby mama and everything else. It was eight degrees in Chicago. It was nice. Get to enjoy this. I'm trying to get it going, man. Now to kind of just get this all up and running and put it on, um, put it on YouTube and put it on the like, different little podcast things. And if they haven't kicked me out yet, <laughs> yeah, I think. <laughs> I think people should, you know, the thing about community, one of the, the pillars of any community is the community not only being like-minded, but also knowing each other, right? Like, yeah. I know, uh, I know, ta- like, Swag's just such a great example, or Tyson, I know what those guys are about, because I have that interaction with them, right? But why not let the guys that are coming in, or the guys that are debating, get a chance to, you know, talk, or, or just listen, you know, it's just... The, the world is at our fingertips right now, right? Yeah. So why can't, why, why shouldn't the beard community like be on this setting, especially like just a one-on-one nice chat. It, it, it's, and it's therapeutic, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. I love doing, I love doing these things. I think it's more for me than anything else, but yeah, man, I love doing this thing. Brother. So I definitely you appreciate well. you, like, going for my, with me on this, man. Yeah. I, I, brought know, you, I brought you out of your mini retirement. Now there you go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Mind, uh, mind activated. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna keep it going, man. I'm gonna probably reach out to maybe like Tyson or somebody after this, and and I'll see what, what what he's been up to. Yeah, man, for sure. Yeah, right, brother. All right, Dave. Well, thanks so much, brother. I don't want to take up too much of your time, and definitely want to keep you with the family and everything else. But yeah, man. Anything you want to add on the podcast with? I'm definitely gonna have your information on it. But anything like to leave like the end of the the show with anything? If you want to do any words of wisdom or anything, you kind of want to talk about. Ooh, words of wisdom. Um, so I think leaving on a positive, on, on a good positive note, um, I try my hardest not to quote other people, but this is a, a quote, two of them that I have in my office that I read every day, right? One of them is, uh, I firmly believe the biggest disability in the world is a negative attitude. Uh, and that's, that says huge things. And the other thing is, uh, don't sit on the shore waiting for your boat to come in sail or swim out to it. Like, I think those are two key factors like in my life about who I am and how I do what I do. And they're just great, great words of wisdom. You know what I mean? Yeah. Perfect. And on that note, we'll go ahead and end this episode. Thank you so much, brother. No problem. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you.